already here on table number two for this class seven group a match between Gubra Korkut of Turkey the world ranked number three and the world number one Kelly Van Zon of the Netherlands two uh, relative youngsters 22 years of age for Korkut 28 years of age for uh, the Dutch athlete and uh, a Brazilian umpire overseeing things in Marco Mancini Both these women already in action and already victorious as well in a uh, group of four. A lot of uh, these groups, men and women, have been groups of three, but uh, it's a, a fairly big group. Group of four, but only two groups. So normally it's the top two who go through. And uh, Korkut and Van Zon must be fairly confident that they will be the pair that go through. But this could be a, a tight one. We've seen tight matches already on this uh, table today. And just the two places separating them on the world rankings. Sion Ark of uh, Korea, by the way, is the uh, seed in between the two of them, who is uh, currently top of the other group, Group B. Just waiting for the resin trees to be done and out the way. Classics, by the way, is the uh, the first of the standing classifications. So uh, off the standing table tennis athletes here at the Paralympics, they uh, suffer the most severe impairments of legs and arms. Gubra Korkut then, who beat Feza Mahmoud three to nothing in her first game. Her opponent not getting past four points in any of those three games, so pretty impressive from the Turkish athlete, but she'll have to go some against Kelly Van Zon, who was taken to a fourth game in uh, her match against Giselle Munoz of Argentina. The gold medalist at London, of course, the three times European champion. She also has a bronze in Beijing. So she'll be a tough old customer, as you can see, good bat speed. And very few left-handers in this tournament, Gubra Korkut. So this Class 7, Group A clash between the world's number one, Kelly Van Zon, and the world number three, Gubra Korkut. Oh, excellent start from the Turkish athlete. Amazon did very well to get the ball back, but it came back again with interest. Korkut obviously using her bat hand to serve as well. The umpire can relax the regulations. You're supposed to... Uh, Throw it up around six inches or so, but if uh, circumstances in Paralympic table tennis dictate, you can waive that.
There's that very quick bat speed as well. Fabulous return. And we talked about the bat speed and hitting the ball early, getting the power through. She's just such a good athlete. Just being reminded that the athlete has to show the table tennis ball in the palm of the hand. A little reminder from Marco Mancini. Go! Going to lose a point for a foul serve, of course, but uh, just a little reminder from the umpire. So experienced, the Dutch woman. Two world championships to her name as well. Not quick enough there. Not much she could have done with that because Corcott had an absolute rocket. Long went for the aggressive smash again. Can't find the end of the table. First shot set it up. It was uh, not the best of returns from Cork Cup, but she couldn't execute the finish. Six apiece. Cork Cup pulling it back. The one who had the, the team silver at London. Both these athletes expected to be there in the mix towards the end. Very fired up, isn't she, the 22-year-old? Made her debut. So, I mean, she started table tennis in 2007, age 13. An unforced error from Van Zong will help her cause. So just a couple of points away from the first game. Oh, great rally. Great rally. You can see what Corkut was trying to do. Just play the angle because Van Zon would not have got there. <laughs> you saw the uh, look of surprise from Corkut as well. Great point. Such a complicated serve for Corkut. You'll see she'll hold it underneath the bat. She has to throw it up and then get the grip back onto the bat. It's a very intricate bit of service. Oh, she's pulled it wide. She's pulled it wide, it's nine apiece. Just being told to hold it in the palm of her hand. And in fact, this time, he's given the point the other way. So a game point for the Turkish athlete. <laughs> well, should be pleased with that. 
A couple of times she's gifted uh, her opponent points on her serve. But she really put some power into that one. First to two clear points then in this game. Now it's the Dutch woman who has the game point. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's gone wide. And she's saved the game point and gone on to win that first very important game in the world number one. Just stamping all authority onto this uh, match in the early stages. Had to defend, had a few problems with the serve, but she takes the first game 12 10. Time call by our umpire, and uh, both quite animated the coaches, I think it's fair to say. Second game then, the world number one has the advantage. Oh, my word. What a return that was. And yeah, the coach up and punching the air. And you can understand why. A little acknowledgement there from Korkut. It's called nothing really that Van Zon could do. Good power from the Turkish athlete. Should be desperate to, uh, to do well. Not just in this match against this woman here. But generally, fourth in the singles in London, that's an agonising place to be for any athlete, just within sniffing distance of the podium, of course. But this is a substantial obstacle in Van Zon, such a good player. Still in the second game well, though. Just not getting the top spin on that. And uh, just the one point lead now for Kubla Korkut. Once yes, again, not finding a range. shot oh my word I don't think Corker can quite believe it <laughs> it was excellent from Corker watch this shot here she thought she'd won it now watch this ball she's turned away <laughs> 
She's turned away thinking she's won the point. And Van Zong somehow managed to sneak that onto the table. That is the play of the day by some distance. Time out has been called. And uh, you can see why with Van Zon just starting to uh, pull away in game two and that astonishing shot from the Dutch woman. And uh, yeah, the Turkish coach looking to uh, just stabilize perhaps uh, Kurkot and get her back. This is the shot, <laughs> my word. It's almost as if she's won the game there and then. No wonder she was jumping around with joy. Seven four then in favour of the world number one. And what does that do to your mind when you see your opponent? You think you've played a, a perfect point, and your opponent still manages to pull it out of the fire. Went for broke, didn't make it. Let's see what she's trying to do, be more aggressive. Put fans on on the back foot. Four game points then, all going to plan for the Dutch woman. One saved. Still a few in hand though, for the 28 year old. That'll do it. And two games to love now for Kelly Van Zon, who has all sorts of confidence after an amazing rally or two in that game. So it's plain sailing so far for the world number one. Had a struggle a little bit in that uh, first game, but uh, came back to take it after saving a game point and the second game a lot plainer sailing. So a chance, perhaps, for Kelly Van Zon to wrap this up in straight games. One of the most astonishing shots you'll ever see in the Paralympic table tennis competition. She managed to dive away to her right and put the ball onto the table from round the net. 
in that last game. Much to the astonishment of uh, Korkut, who was walking away thinking she'd already won the point. Fabulous uh, athleticism from these athletes. Third game then in this uh, Group A match. Class seven athletes. Hesitation from Van Zorn, and she's uh, three points behind in quick style in this third game. Excellent, excellent forehand from Korkut right into the body of Van Zorn, and it was quick as well. in two minds Van Zong whether to smash it or just dink it bad over and I think uh, she paid as a result and she's in a spot of bother here six to nothing that's the serve though a chance to sort herself out a bit here that's long well what a comeback from Cord Cut. Two games down, but certainly bossing this one. That was there to be hit by Van Zandt, but all of a sudden, she seems to have lost her mojo a bit here. Eight to nothing down in this third game. That'll be a, a let. And she's long again. Oh, this could be a game to nothing if she's not careful. Shot! Ten, count them, ten game points. Oh, what a turnaround this has been. Don't see this very often, especially in two such highly skilled athletes. And there's a point back. I'm sure she'd like to have uh, wrapped this one up to love, not to be. Oh, what a return that was. Still uh, more than enough, surely, game points. And all of a sudden, she's coming roaring back, Kelly Van Jean. Extraordinary game this is turning out to be. Ten unanswered for Corcutt, now four unanswered for Van Zon. Make that five. Goodness me, just can't put this game to bed, the Turkish athlete. The philosophy, I'm told, is big fish eat small fish. Well, she's struggling to finish this fish off. There you go. Well, it took a while, didn't it? But uh, she pulls a game back. And that will make her feel a whole lot better, I'm sure. A little shake of the head from Kelly Van Jean. An expressive athlete. And uh, she'll, I'm sure, not only take on water, but take on advice from her coach, having conceded in the third game, but she still leads by two games to one.
who come back in the last game from Kubla Korkut. Question is, can she keep this going? First game was 13 minutes, the last one was just eight, so they're getting quicker. Oh, yes. Well, you talk about, you heard, probably heard, you know, the talk was in Dutch, the uh, coach talking about the spin, side spin, top spin. A lot of side spin on that one. Yeah, nicely done. Korkut bossing that point. That's the way she wants to play. She's very accurate when she does place at the end of the table. And that was a excellent top spin backhand from the uh, Turkish athlete. Oh, the decibel noise is reaching a peak here. She's very fired up, looking to pull this back to two games apiece and take it to a final and deciding game. This may well turn out to be a lot tighter than we thought when Van Zon fought out a two game to nothing lead early on in this match. Oh, yes, just took the edge of the table. All counts, though. Phlegmatic character, isn't he? <laughs> He'll be a coach. Six apiece. Tight old fourth game, this one. Yeah, excellent serve. Good angle, good spin. Too hot for Corcutt to handle. Yeah, she is fired up some. Excellent forehands there, just too powerful for Van Zon. Look at the power she puts into that. Good rotation. Off the hips, the whole body coming in.
It's going to be a very tight affair, this one. Who's going to blink first? Eight apiece, heading towards the business end of this fourth game. And for the first time in this game, the Dutch woman is ahead. Oh dear, that's the third time. It's the third time it's happened, and that's why it feels that the ball's not in clear vision to the opponent. And what a time for that to happen. Just needs to clear ahead a little bit. And luckily, it's a multiple of six, so she can go and have a towel down. A little word with Riyad Ragab of Egypt, who's looking after the scoring. Quick word with uh, Korkut, and now she's reset. Nine apiece then. Oh, and it's long, it's long. She thought she'd won it. A couple of clever shots from Van Zon, but this is a game point to make it two apiece. Yeah! Very vocal table, I think you'll agree. Ten each. First to two clear points, we'll rotate the serve after every point. He's very calm under pressure. No! Two net cords. No! Third time they hit the net, came back. Cool cut. Has to defend a match point here. And she's done it. She has done it. And look what it means to her as well. Excellent, excellent work from Kelly Van Zon. Tenacity kept going. Played one absolutely miraculous shot in the third game and kept going when it looked like she might be under pressure, saved the game point and then took the match point. And I think it's fair to say she was quite pleased and fired up, even the coach gets involved. Didn't need that fifth game. It's wrapped up in four and it's Kelly Van Zon who books her place in the knockout stages.